Hello, everybody. In June 2015, I visited a major synagogue in New York, Park Avenue Synagogue. It was a visit that stayed with me and shaped my thinking about our relationship, the relationship between all of us, between Israel and the diaspora, between different Jewish communities, between us as people. It had a profound effect on me. On that day, the rabbi of the synagogue, Rabbi Cosgrove, did what all great rabbis do. He used this platform to ask tough questions. But there was one question he raised that day which stuck with me. It was a question on behalf of his community and on behalf of many others too. It sent chill down my spine. At times, said the rabbi, at too many times, we've been left to wonder whether Israel loves us as much as we love Israel. It was a question that came from a place of pain, of uncertainty. That day I was a Knesset member in the opposition. Today, just over six years later, I'm the foreign minister of Israel. And I have a clear answer for him and all of you. Yes, we do love you as much as you love Israel. Yes, you are part of us a full and equal part of us. Yes, we are one family. Orthodox, conservative, reform or secular. Those that go to synagogue once a week and those that go once a year. Those that pray and those that don't. They don't. In Israel, North America, Europe, Africa, Australia, Latin America, in every corner of the globe. So this Rosh Hashanah, I have one message for you all. Israel loves you, and we are waiting for you. So from the land of Israel, and from one member of the family to another, I'd like to wish you all a Shana Tova Umetuka.